The numbers game is a complex one. Not everyone knows how to wrap their heads around paying taxes, running a business, and dealing with stocks. But billionaires do. Top business executives and CEOs deal with billions of dollars in routine. In just 2021, CEOs and corporate insiders have sold about $69 billion worth of stock. Keep watching to find out why. Let's dive in. Firstly, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos sold $20 billion of Tesla and Amazon stock in 2021. As December looms over us, insider sales of stocks have been going up. Billionaire CEOs CEOs and founders have collectively sold $60 billion worth of stocks to cash more profits. From Sadia Nadella at Microsoft to Elon Musk at Tesla and Jeff Bezos at Amazon, all have let their share in the company slip to make some extra cash. December is an active month for insider sales due to tax planning season. The insider sales this year are up by a staggering 30%. Keep watching to find out why the two largest billionaires stick to insider sales and what all this financial tangle means. How much has Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos sold in stocks? Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, Tesla and Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, have collectively sold $20 billion worth of company stocks. Elon Musk sold $1.05 billion in stocks at the end of November alone and has already offloaded about $9.9 billion worth of stocks of the electric vehicle maker company Tesla. Jeff Bezos is another billionaire who has shed off a whopping amount in stocks this year. The Amazon founder and chairman sold off about $10 billion worth of shares of the e-commerce and cloud computing giant. These trades by the two leading billionaires, whose names are frequently found at the top of lists of the rich richest people in the world have helped put the total sales by insiders from huge corporations this year to a striking amount of $69 billion, even before it officially ended. These insider sales have gone up by 80% when compared to the 10-year average and are one-third higher than last year's record. Most of these insider sales are pre-planned rather than made on opportunity, but a lot of top CEOs have profiled from the sudden rise of stock value during the pandemic. The rising prices of stocks is not the only factor driving this onset of insider sales from rich entrepreneurs either. There are several other reasons as well. Ha <laughs> the rich and their secrets. Still remains above the $1 trillion mark, but the stock is well off of its all-time highs just over the last two weeks. But what Amazon has is the advantage of being the largest in their vertical also, when you think about retail and... Why have Musk and Bezos sold off $20 billion worth of stocks? The value of stocks drastically shot up during the pandemic. The rise in prices of shares is definitely one of the reasons for the high level of insider sales this year. The S&P 500 has seen a rise of 23% this year and has also shown a 95% increase since the market crash of March 2020 when the pandemic initially hit the world. Just a week ago, before the Omicron variant created suspicion among investors, the U.S. stock market was riding an even higher wave. Tesla stocks have increased by 55% in value this year alone and are 1,100% more in value since the sell-off in March. On Wednesday, it closed at $1,095. Investors are positive that Musk will be the one leading his company, Tesla, to create the biggest green and clean revolution in vehicles. According to Ben Silverman at Verity, the increase in the dollar value of insider sales in 2021 can be attributed to multiple factors, with historically high stock valuations being the primary driver, he said. The presence of super sellers during the period has helped pump up sales total. Another factor for selling stocks is the high value of taxes. Musk and Bezos both are facing high tax bills. The U.S. government has imposed a 7% capital gains tax that goes live in 2022. Does this insider sale mean the value of Tesla and Amazon stock is going to crash. Musk and Bezos going off the market now have put investors in deep thought. As two of the richest business people on the planet, their business decisions are sure to create a buzz, especially when they are worth $20 billion. People are confused about whether to stick in the market or take off. A venture capitalist said, two entrepreneurs who I've considered to be the smartest capital allocators of our generation are taking chips off the table. The assets are at a record high right now, but inflation is spreading wide as well. So where do the stocks stand? With Musk and Bezos having offloaded billions of worth of shares, should you still buy these trending stocks. Even after selling all those stocks, Elon Musk still has 166 million shares in the company and is un unlikely to be going anywhere. Having hit an all-time high value of $1,243.39 on November 4th, Tesla's stocks have seen a 21% decrease in value, but it is still the most valuable automaker in the world right now and is currently valued at $1 trillion. The sales of the company have risen by 57% as well. An analyst even raised the expected price of Tesla stock from $1,000 to $1,400. But according to technical analysis, Tesla stocks are not in buy position, and for Amazon, you should hold rather than sell or buy. Wait for the market to stabilize and then invest.
Tesla CEO Elon Musk has sold another 934,000 shares in his company, worth about a billion dollars. From a, an e-commerce market share standpoint, this is really the first seasonally strong Q4 where they're going to basically grow in line with the market. Now that we have taken a look at how the world's richest men are moving their money currently, let's go over some other financial updates happening in the world right now. Is the S&P 500 index being ruled by five stocks only? According to the research by Goldman Sachs, the return of the S&P 500 index at the end of April is majorly credited for, to five giant stocks. These five stocks are behind 51% of the S&P 500's return. S&P soared by 26% this year, and one-third of it is due to Microsoft, Apple, Google, Tesla, and NVIDIA. And although these major tech giants have been quite active in participating in the rally, fewer stocks participating in the rally means there is a higher risk in the stock market. Following periods of sharply narrowing market breadth, similar to the recent experience, equities have historically exhibited weaker-than-average returns and deeper drop-downs, says Kyle. Austin, who is the chief U.S. equity strategist at Goldman Sachs. There have been few times over the past couple of decades when market breadth has narrowed as much as it did in the six months between April and October of this year. According to Costin, the returns S&P has generated over the past six to 12 months have been below average. These stocks have performed well in recent months, and this should continue provided narrowing breadth persists. Such firms trade at only a small premium to similarly high growth companies with lower negative margins. High margins are a signal of quality, says Costin. The risk of recession at this point seems low as earnings and margins have continued to rise beyond expectations. Have other CEOs been selling stocks this year? Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are not the only top CEOs that have sold stocks this year in the billions. There are other names on the list as well. The CEO of Microsoft, Sadia Nadella, who is more a traditional leader as compared to Elon Musk, sold off about half of his shares last month. Musk and Nadella have sold a combined $63.5 billion worth of stocks in 2021, which is a 50% increase from the start of 2021. An associate professor at Wharton Business School has connected these insider sellings all around to inflation, pending tax legislation, and the fact that insiders sell when the market is high. Put all those things together, and you get this record selling, said the associate professor. You see selling at peaks and buying at dips, so if the market's peaking, we might see increased insider selling. But in addition to that, we also have record inflation. So if you're thinking about where to put your money, you want to make sure you're not going to lose any purchasing power. Musk has been on a selling spree since uh, early November, partly to pay his looming tax bills on his stock options. Yeah, we like Amazon into next year. There's been two number cuts. Uh, clearly, a lot of investments pulled forward. How is Tesla still selling its shares at $1 when it has soared by 50%? Tesla's price has surged by 50% this year. It is one of the more expensive stocks and is currently priced at $1,000. This price tag is out of reach for most people, but this does not mean that you cannot invest in Tesla. Fractional shares allow you to invest in Tesla with as little as $1 per share. What this essentially means is that instead of buying a full share, you can invest in part of a share. Let's say a full share costs $1,000, but you only have $100 to invest. You can buy one-tenth of a share for that amount and still have your money invested in growing stock. Sounds awesome, right? And the best part? You choose how much you want to pay. And that's a wrap for this video. Which stocks have you invested in lately? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.